I'll see what's up. Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jack Alflin. This is my 2023 A90 Supra that we're building into a drift car. If you're new here, this is a manual. It's a uh, factory manual. A lot of other stuff done to it, which you could just check out my other videos and see. For my existing people who always come and check out my videos, thank you so much. Welcome back to the channel. We are, uh, we're gonna finish up part two of where we left off last video, which is just pretty much finishing off the last couple panels on the front bumper, which is just sitting right over there. It's just pretty much on the ground. I haven't touched the car for a couple days. So we're just gonna get the wrap put onto these. I'm just gonna start cutting the wrap to fit around the panel, which thankfully it's like so little that I'm still gonna have a ton of wrap left over. Let's zoom it in a little bit. Weird that they call it an olive green because like normally you'd expect olive green to be a little bit darker. It still looks amazing. I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's like a lighter olive green than most other olive greens. Is that even cut it? I don't think I didn't cut it. So if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I'm just like the wrap is like really firm and like doesn't want to uh you can see it's just curling up really bad. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be or not. I'm just trying to get to like relax itself a little bit because it's like really hard to work with right now. I think it's working. Pull that off real quick. These ones stick together. That would not be cool. All right, you guys, we now have a wrap on the panel. So then I took it and I flipped it over. If I'm doing it wrong, don't come after me. I have no clue what I'm doing. If you're wondering what I'm cutting through it with, it's just a yeah, just a generic razor blade. The reason I'm cutting it off is I'm just trying to get myself as much uh, of the excess off. For me, it makes it eat like a little bit more manageable. And I guess it's easier to work with. Because when I have a lot, it kind of stresses me out because it's all over the place. Now, as you can see, we have it pretty much all the wrap around it. So I'm gonna heat it up so I can kind of morph it to the panel a little bit better. And then um, also work out these, some little air bubbles in the wrap itself. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I'm looking at. I can't get this part to like, these creases to like come undone and like go smooth. Um, so I'm just going to keep kind of working at it and kind of like trying to like smush it out. But you can see like the other part of the panels come out pretty good so far. I'm just going to kind of get around the corners and then, um, yeah, that'll just pop itself out hopefully. All right. I must say, I'm actually pretty happy. So the, uh, that one crease and stuff that I was having like a lot of trouble getting to, uh, to see properly, which I think was right up here. Um, which as you can see, we kind of got the wrap on. I, I skipped over a lot of, well, not a lot, I guess I wasn't going for that long, but um, the way I got the crease out, which it's creased right there, but it's, it's whatever, dude. I just kept heating it up and working it and heating it up and working it, which I guess that's kind of like just what you got to do with wrap. You just got to heat it up, pull it off, heat it up, pull it off, just keep pretty much going until you get it. I'm gonna kind of wrap up the loose ends. We gotta pretty much just finish right down there. We're gonna flap this part in get this in, this part in, and then we're pretty much done. And I'm just gonna probably have it recording. I'm just sitting here with the heat gun, literally just going over it and over it and over it. That's what I'm happy with how it turns out. I'm not too worried about this piece I'm doing right here, because this is where it meets the front bumper. Um, and you're not gonna see this actually. So I'm gonna trim here and like kind of like release pressure. Um, like literally you can't see this at all. It's impossible to see it. So I'm not too worried about how this part turns out specifically. I don't know how other wrap is to work with. Um, a lot of people said a Nozitex is really hard to work with. I mean, I'm not a wrap pro. I don't really have like all the crazy tools, but I'm actually, I mean, I don't find it to be like that bad. 
like I said, oh, if you wrapped up in it, like make sure if you bring it to someone they've wrapped with a Nozitec before, or I Nozitec, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Um, I mean, I think anyone can do it. I don't think it takes like a degree in wrapping to be able to use this wrapping material. Um, one thing I do really like about this company too is like, the, like it's, I'm really not a big wrap guy. I, I, I'm big on paint, I really like paint. Um, but it's like, this company's always had that like, that finish to me that almost looks like, like it's like the closest to paint I see out of like a lot of wrap companies. Um, and that's big for me because paint almost, in my opinion, always looks better than wrap. Unless the wrap's done really well, if it's like a really high quality one, which I think this company is. I know the tech, he knows the tech. The nose of tech, whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, yeah, I'm just heating it up, wrapping it around the corners, and then trimming off the excess. That heat gun get fucking hot, dog. Damn. All right. So we just got so the tops wrapped. This is all taken care of. Um, just finished. I was just talking about finished this part. As you can see, what I was talking about is like you're not going to even really be able to see this. Um, it's like all this, which as long as it just wraps around here, like that, because this is like where the bumper like sits on the lip. That's really all that matters. So I just made sure it was tight and wrapped around it, and I'm just going around and taking care of all this, trying to get these air bubbles out, and just trying to make it look as clean as I possibly can. This is going much smoother than the other bumper did, or the other piece did. And I think it's just because I wasn't really familiar with any of it, which I'm not really still familiar with, but it's, I'm familiar with now that I've done it once. I kind of have a feeling of what the wrap wants to do and how it likes to work. I'm cutting wherever, uh, wherever I feel like tension points is where I'm cutting it. Um, just so I can like kind of just yank on it and not have like the uh, repercussion of it like bubbling or something. Who knows what? I don't know, I'm actually pretty, I'm a lot happier with how this one turned out than my other one. <laughs> one thing I do really wanna make sure is clean is like the bolt holes where the bolts sit. I'm trying to like heat it up and then press it down with like a microfiber or something so I can get to sit in there nice and clean. I hate when like where the bolt goes into the hardware, it's just like super like ripped up and just looks bad. Cause I feel like that's like a big attention to details making sure even where the hardware goes in still looks good. you feel me? I think anyone can agree with that. Cause when you get up to one of the cleanest cars that you like and then you look at it and then of course it's gonna have blemish no car's perfect. But when you see like right where the hardware goes in, it's all fucking uh, torn up and shredded up. It kind of takes away from like the aspect of damn, this guy's car is really nice. So like, ah, uh, almost really nice, but it's got this. And then I always think of that. Guys, that is how you wrap something. True. Let's see if I can try to clean up some of the air bubbles. Check this out, y'all. So, Ooh. we got the wrap all on there. This was all the excess and stuff that I cut it off. So like, down there, you can see I kind of just like let it do its thing. I didn't really try to make it too perfect, but like around the corners and stuff is really where I cared. This is like these little holes and stuff like this is what I was talking about like I really wanted those to be To sit in there well and look as clean as I could um, You can kind of tell it's pushed down, but I think when the Breedy washer is in there like it is right here It should look pretty good inside the wrap. So now I'm gonna cut this little hole out just pretty much Like so I'll show you guys Pretty much just kind of like, almost like an X in it. Check that out, y'all. That's how you wrap something. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, let me know down below. It wasn't the most like in-depth wrap tutorial ever. This is 
why I wasn't too worried about the bottom because where it sits, like you can't even see it like at all. It goes right here. Much better. So it sits down. This is where the wrap I didn't really care too much about. It goes. Now we just need the trim to come in, which that won't be in. So unfortunately we're gonna wrap it up here. Where's the other piece? Right over here. Bam. Cha-ching. Bumper is almost back on. We, uh, once we get trim, which should be in later this week, we're gonna be able to actually mount them, get the parking sensor right in that little hole right there, get the bumper back on the car. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions too, please let me know down below. I'm not a wrap expert. That was my first time, or I guess technically second time wrapping something. It was pretty, pretty straightforward though. There wasn't too much to it. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna go hit the gym real quick. Peace, I'll see you guys in the next video.